What's going on guys? Just wanted to give you a quick update on the 2016 Yamaha R1. As you can see, it looks quite different from the last time. Um, as I had it professionally wrapped. Uh, I tried myself, but it did not work out at all. Um, these pieces are what got me here. And I started with those. I probably should have never started with those, but uh, they were a super pain and I decided, you know what, this is not for me. So I had it professionally wrapped and it came out fantastic. Um, they did a really, really great job. Um, the, uh, and then I just recently added the YZF stickers on there, like my old one. Um, some of this pinstriping, I put this carbon fiber on, this carbon fiber on the top here. Anything that's blue, I added on later. Um, of course, I've got the, uh, the tire letters from Treadwares. But I am pretty much done with this thing. Um, I may eventually get another exhaust for it one day. I'm extremely partial to Two Brothers. I know it's not everybody's favorite exhaust, but I gotta tell you, I, I love it. I always have. It sounds amazing. I like the short pipe. Um, I put a little exhaust slider on there too. <clears throat> but anyways, that's it, guys. Um, I did... Uh, you know, the last video I did was with the Healy bars, and I know it's hard to tell the difference, you know, from standing there, but I'm telling you, absolutely amazing difference. Absolutely amazing difference in the ride. It is so much more comfortable. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I can ride this longer than I can ride my FZ09. It's crazy. So, but anyways, I kind of try to go with that R1M theme, as you could see, but, um, Instead of the silver, I went with white, which I actually like much better. So I ended up putting those uh, light tech mirror covers on. I've just got my, my typical um, uh, CRG mirrors or whatever they're called. I actually had this set sitting in my, um, my toolbox, which I didn't even realize I had. And then I went ahead and... Uh, let me turn this on... I think I've got about 900 miles on it right now. Let's see. Went ahead and had these done, which I thought was pretty cool. The turn signals built into the daytime running lights. That was all plug and play, which is pretty cool. I got it off a guy from the R1 forum. I'd have to look up his name. Um, but uh, he did a great job, all plug and play, looked great. So, but there it is guys. She's just about done, or pretty much done. I love the way it came out. The carbon fiber just looks awesome on it. Like I said, I was trying to duplicate a little bit of that R1M look, but I just, um, I don't know. I'm not paying $23,000 for that R1M, which it's amazing looking and the suspension's awesome, but you know, I'm a street rider and honestly, I don't need any of that. So <clears throat> I'm sure it's fantastic, but you know, as fast as I go through these bikes, there's just no way I was paying that much for it. But anyway, it's got a pretty similar look and I think it actually turned out a little bit better. So I absolutely love this R1, man. All right, guys, there it is. Get yourself a set of these Healy bars. Use my uh, code HBR6 Realtor. HBR6 Realtor, I think is what it is. Um, I'll put it down in the description for you either way. Um, oh, and then one quick note, I did end up have to having to get a real carbon fiber fender. As you can see, it doesn't quite 100% match, but it's close enough. I mean, that was gonna be such a bastard to wrap um, because I thought I was going to do this whole wrap myself. So I went ahead and just got the carbon fiber, uh, fender. So, and then of course I got one more thing too, is the, um, I did change the sprockets out. Uh, I can't even remember the gearing now, but I went one down in the front and, oh gosh, I can't remember 
one more up in the rear I think I did. But it's really a nice combination. Um, I think I did two up last time, which made it a little bit too steep on the highway. It's perfect now. I mean, it takes off. I, I mean, the, the, the thing is amazing for around town or on the highway now, it's just perfect. So it's a great all around bike, if you can believe it, uh, Super Sport is. So between the, you know, the handlebars and the gearing, it just makes such a difference, so. But all right, guys, there it is. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. See ya.